Hey guys, this is Mitch with SB Coders, and today I'm going to be showing you part 5 of our iPhone SDK series. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing the basics of playing audio in your application. Um, there are a couple different ways to do this, but I'm going to show you guys the easiest one. Pretty much can be used in any situation. For the most part, there are exceptions, but this is what we'll use. So with that, let's get started. Um, we're just going to create just a regular view-based application, just like usual. I'm going to name mine uh, Sound Machine. Sounds good. Name yours whatever you want. Let this think. All right. Um, build it. Make sure everything's good. Should be. It's just made. OK. Um, we don't need to add any more classes. It's going to be a pretty pretty basic thing here. Um, one thing we are going to have to do is we're going to have to add a new framework. So all you're going to have to do is right click on frameworks and um, add an existing framework. And we're going to want the AV foundation for this one, which is like a basis of uh, for playing audio and a few other things. But it's good for this kind of stuff. So in our main view controllers header file, we're going to need to import um, AV foundation slash AV audio player. This is what we're going to want like this and it's in brackets like that because it's um, like an internal kind of framework. It's not like third party. That's just why it looks like that. We're also going to declare an um, AV audio player and I'm just going to call it player. Um, that's all for the header. Um, in the oh, I guess we're gonna need a sound to play. Uh, I'll do that right now. You can add whatever sound you want. Um, doesn't matter. You just add it to your resources. So you just add an existing file, and I have this little applause sound I'm going to play. You can add whatever sound you want though, but make sure copy items into destination group folder is checked. Just like that. See, it's right there. Ooh, don't want you. Um, so that's good there. Inside our main view controller's implementation file, um, we don't need to import anything because we did it in our header. Um, Let's go to our view did load. We're going to have to load our audio in here. So what we're going to want is um, an a the AV audio player uses URLs for file paths. It's kind of different, but um, you haven't really worked with the other writing files yet, or at least I haven't shown it to you, so this is, it'll be all right. It's a NS um, URL. We'll just name it URL, and it equals a... Um, nsurl it's going to be a, a file URL with path and for the path we're gonna pass um, you might not have seen this before it's NS two brackets and then NS bundle main bundle and then uh, path for resource and it's a string so it's gonna be passed like that and whatever um, your sound file was named and then of type is like the extension. So in my case, it's a WAV file. So that's what that is. Um, the NS bundle main bundle, that's pretty much your application, which is going to, and with the path for resources, it's going to point to this folder right here with all your uh, resources. Okay, so now we're going to want um, our uh, player, the AV audio thing that we played or defined earlier is equal to um, AV oh, yeah AV audio player alloc I don't know why it's not highlighting and then in it with you know what this really bugs me when stuff happens like this uh, this happens because if you don't build like really often it doesn't know what you're trying to reference or whatever so now when we do player it'll show up like this and then this is just AV audio player alloc and I think we've done something like this with the view controllers yeah it's just allocating a space and memory for it in it 
uh, with contents of URL, the URL that we made, and you should probably, I mean, do errors if you want to log them, but it's really, it's not necessary, so I'm not going to waste time with it right now. Um, we're just going to uh, set number of loops to zero, which is going to make it not loop, just play, it's just going to play once and that's going to be it. And then we're going to want to pass um, player prepare to play, which pretty much if you want to play a sound file right away, you're going to need to do, otherwise there's going to be a lag. What it does is it just um, loads the file up and gets it ready to play like as soon as you press the button or whatever, however you're playing it. Uh, one other thing we need is we need an action just to play um, play the sound when we press the button that probably should make sense and here all we have to pass is um, player play and that'll play the sound for us just like that uh, check time all right, we're good. Now we just, that's it for the code really for just playing a single file. So let's um, load up the interface builder and design this a little bit. Always takes forever to load. Okay, there we go. As usual, this is uh, gray. Okay, mm, let's go red this time. Why not, right? Since we're only going to have one button, I mean, why not? You might as well just make it look kind of crazy. And we have time, so I'm just going to set the opacity down a little bit. Make it kind of blend a little bit, I guess. Um, connect the button with our play action, touch it up inside, save this, and that should, it should work, let's see, we run this in simulator, All right, and when we press the button, sound plays just like we like want it to. Um, that's that's the basics of playing a sound. Um, while I have a little time here, not much. I also want to go over that with AV Audio Player. There's also um, a stop. You can do a stop, or like a they have a pause. I think yeah, pause. And you can also like set uh, the current time, which will like scrub to a certain time in the audio clip, kind of like the iPod player does um, if you hooked it up with like a, a scroll bar or whatever that thing is. You could scrub through the time. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do. Uh, look at I encourage you to look at the documentation for it because it's actually a really powerful framework that um, a lot of people don't really take seriously but it can do a lot so uh with that there you go until next time see you guys